you guys keep asking, so for you, I want to deliver. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share another video with you guys. And today my video is what I got for Christmas. So I was a little apprehensive about sharing this video. I really just didn't know how comfortable that I felt just because everybody shares and does Christmas differently. Some people just do one gift exchange, some people don't do any and just do, you know, gifts all year long, and some people just go all out and extravagant. And my family goes all out and extravagant. If you've been with me for any length of time, like there isn't anything that my family doesn't do that isn't in excess. And Christmas is definitely up there with one of them. So we do like huge, gigantic gift exchanges. We spend tons of money. It's kind of crazy, but we look forward to it. Like Christmas morning or exchanging and getting so excited. I'm a gift giver. So I actually don't receive gifts very well, but I, can give them like the best of them and I love it and it's so fun to like pick stuff out for people so I we love to gift give and my whole family is like that but I see a lot of people I exchange with my mom I see my in-laws where my sister-in-law is there and then I exchange with my aunt and all of her kids are older she has four children and they're all older so we all exchange with all four kids so it's like five families out of that one family if that makes any sense that we exchange with and then I have friends that I exchanged with so I mean it was just like we exchanged with our girls group like the boxes you guys sent stuff like it was just crazy I feel like I was super overwhelmed but more than being overwhelmed I'm ridiculously blessed and not everybody is so blessed and so part of me wasn't sure if I wanted to share this because I don't want it to seem like I'm bragging or this is what I got because that would make me feel super uncomfortable that is totally not my intention of this video but being that I didn't vlog a whole lot while I was home for Christmas you guys keep asking me like hey what did you get or oh that's awesome you know what else did you get or what did hubby get you or whatever and I didn't even get to share any of what I got because I had the camera down and I wasn't vlogging so I just figured I would do a what I got for Christmas video I could never do what my kids got because if you think I got a lot through this video like my kids got 10 times that amount if you guys saw how packed my car was like I wouldn't even have time all of Daryl's presents were pretty much shipped here so he had a whole pile of stuff that he was opening rain guards and you know big giant vacuums and new shavers and I mean Christmas was crazy so it would take me forever and we would need to do like a seven part video to show you everything so I'm not down for all of that but I did want to share with you guys the highlights of my favorite things that I got for Christmas my big pieces and the things that I'm really honored to say thank you and blessed to have received so now let's get into what I got for Christmas Okay guys, so here we are in the kitchen and I figured this would be the best place to start to share what I got for Christmas because a bulk of my Christmas gifts were for this particular room. This room is my wheelhouse. I love the kitchen. I would enjoy getting items for my kitchen every day of the week and so this is where a bulk of my christmas presents came from and i figured i would start here in this room and then i guess i'll just take you guys from room to room and show you the presents that i got that add up to that particular room if that makes any sense so i will start over here and i'll start with my meal planner i'm super excited uh, about sharing an upcoming video with you guys where i'm actually breaking down this whole thing this is the new one that i got for 2019 this is the third year that i've gotten a meal planner in january from cariel to use throughout the year but this is the first year that i got the mini which i probably should have done the mini all along. I really like how small it is, how convenient it is, how easy it'll be for me to throw in my briefcase or in my handbag if I want to work on my meal plan on the go. So I'm excited about that. And she did a lot of new 
things inside of here. So I will break this down when I do my review in case you guys are interested in this meal planner, especially getting organized. Everybody has that mindset in January. So I'll make sure to um, go over more in depth. And there's always a permanent promo code in the description box if you guys want to check it out and purchase one of your own in the meantime. But I really love her new setup this year. So I'm excited to show you guys that. I do already have a food saver, but every year my mother-in-law gets me the bags. And any of the items that I have here that I think you guys would be interested in, I'll make sure to link below if I can find them on Amazon or wherever. I think she might have even gotten these. I think she gets these at Sam's Club. Um, but I've seen them at Kohl's on Amazon. So like I said, I will link them. But she gets me the two rolls that are 8x20 and then the four rolls that are 11 by 16 So that really allows me to play with all the different, you know, size of things that I purchase. Um, I did get a bunch of coffee pods. That's just one that I haven't put away yet. But Daryl got French vanilla and I got something else, another peppermint something. So, um, but those are already just kind of put away. Um, this is probably one of my most exciting uh, Christmas gifts, you guys. How stinking neat is that? Look at the detail. You can still see the whole spoon, the fork, the knives, the line on the plate. I absolutely love it. This is the exact replica of my logo. And my mom had this made for me on a cutting board so I can use this for my cooking videos. This is like, I took my breath away. It's so gorgeous and I absolutely love it. Uh, Vanessa, Lemonade Mom, her birthday is coming up. So I think I'm gonna get her logo on a cutting board for her, for her to do her cooking videos because she spends a lot of time in the kitchen as well. So I'm really excited about this and comment down below and let me know what you think. I'm in the process of finding somebody to help me make some merch. I kind of want to rep my own logo like on a t-shirt or a sweatshirt and stuff and I have like a few other ideas. So let me know what you think about coming out with a line of that. But even just for myself, I'm excited to wear it because this is going to be a portion of me forever. So I'm excited about that cutting board. And then I got another one, but this one wasn't actually purchased for me. It was made for me. So you know my family that I always talk about with the maple farm. Uh, this is some of their maple tree that they cut down and then they used the wood to make me like, look at this thing, look how thick it is. This is like a badass cutting board. Like it's so awesome. This actually really excites me. I was like blown away when Marvin said I could have this because I want to do butcher block in my next house. Like when I build, I would like to do the island or like any uh, just a cutting station that's butcher block and this is exactly like what it would be so i'm really excited about it i just need to treat it and it's like oh my goodness it's so heavy but i have to as long as i treat it then i'll be able to use it all the time so this is like nothing crazy and spectacular but i am excited about it just because i do not have any kind of loaf pan anymore and a couple of times some recipes have called for making something in a loaf pan and recently i had to go out and buy like the throwaway pans from the dollar tree so my mother-in-law hooked me up she did get me the pyrex one she always does she loves herself some pyrex and it has the good like silicone snap-on lid so I like that okay and now something else to comment down below about have you guys ever heard of this brand magic mill I have not this is completely new to me I asked my mom for Christmas for a programmable slow cooker I wanted something where I could set the time that would automatically go to warm I also wanted something that I could make it come on at 12 o'clock and shut off at 5 kind of thing I feel like a lot of recipes like my Mississippi chicken I love that recipe but it's only four hours so if I'm gonna be gone all day that wouldn't be something I could make but I could with this because if I want to eat dinner at six I can have it come on at two o'clock even if I'm not home and then shut off at six o'clock and go to warm so I really wanted something like that and this is the one that my mom picked up I wasn't specific about a brand I just told her that that's what I wanted and this is what she got so I'm really excited she said she read the reviews and there were rave reviews on it she got like the mega capacity of never owned a crock pot that is 8.5 quartz so that is like insane to me so i'm excited about trying this because i've never heard of this brand before so hopefully it is good 
So up here is my capoosh, and I love this thing. I'm gonna take you over to it in just a second and actually show you it because this is just the box and the old one. I've already put this one out. I could not wait. I was emptying my dishwasher and the other one was just such a pain in the butt, I couldn't deal. But let me get a little bit closer and show you guys that this is a knife block, but it's a knife block that has like these little fibers in it on um, up here and down here in this section and this way you can just slide the knife into any spot you want it's not a specific slot so this little capoosh thing allows you to put your knives and everything into like this safety silicone little things and it's absolutely amazing so i'll take you guys over in just a second and i'll insert it right here of what that looks like Okay, guys, so here is that capoosh. This is what it looks like clean and new out of the box. And then here down into the little thing, you can see these fibers. And they just push. So, I mean, like, even I, if I weaseled my finger, I could push through them. So the knife just slides into these fibers, and you can just place it anywhere that you want it to go. Sorry, the camera's, like, bugging out because it's a lot of the same color but anyways you get the concept um, like I said I really love it it's like better than the average knife block and I'm happy to get a new one because it really was a pain putting the knives in the old one tell me that thing's not awesome right like I'm obsessed with it I love it so much so the only problem is I've had that one for a very long time probably like seven or eight years and the bristles got like all yucky from constantly being pushed in they got like they started to get pushed into the bottom and it got to the point where I couldn't push the knives in anymore there was like no easy slippery spot and the same thing happened to my mom so I actually bought one for my mom she um, bought one for me and then I also bought one for my in-laws just because like this thing is amazing uh, this used to be sold at Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know if they do anymore. I bought my original one when I worked there, but I will link it wherever I can find it because I promise you guys, you want that. And it's not even expensive. It's like $35. And it's the best thing ever in life because it's just so much classier than the um, regular knife block. And actually, oh yeah, they do. This is all the different designs. Even if you like the wood, they still have a wood. They have one in black that's not the double. And then, oh, you can get this in black or in wood. What? Look at all the different colors. Holy cow. This is just one solid square, bigger, and you can get it in those three colors. You can do this one. Look at that. That's kind of nifty. It's got like the cool little storage on the sides. And then that's the rondello. That's, or the rondelle. That's the one that I get. So super awesome. I love that capoosh. I know you guys will love that. So check that out. And then here, this is my favorite purchase. My mom was going to get me another camera this year. So last year she got me the camera that I'm filming on now which is my Canon G7X. I absolutely love this camera and it's great for things like what I'm doing right now and it's perfect for vlogging because it's lightweight and it has the flip up screen but I really wanted a diesel camera more like the Rebel T6i. I think that's the other large camera that Vanessa has but I got a chance to really look at it when we went on our beach vacation and that camera is just so much better for still shots and I really enjoy putting this cookbook together, you guys, and I think that I'm going to start together right now. I'm starting to compile another set of recipes for me to go off on my own this time. I'm glad the girls did it with me. We kind of like broke our fear, but now I want to do one on my own. And so I need a good camera to take really good pictures, like Paige edited all of our photos and stuff and like worked with the coloring and the lighting. I'm not really good with any of that. So I kind of want a camera that'll help me do that. Unfortunately, all of the ones that we looked for, like good packages during Christmas, they were just sold out. So she said, okay, you know, my dad gave me some money towards it and said, buy it when you can and I'll put it away and I'll save up for it. But for now, she was like, you know, this is the amount of money you have to spend that I was gonna buy on your ca buy your camera for. What do you want? And I was like, <laughs> If I have a choice, I need a kitchen aid in my life. And she was like, absolutely sold. And my dad surprised her 
and got her one too because she was so in love with this when she was buying it that my dad said he hadn't seen my mom like smile and get that excited over a gift in a while so he purchased her one so she got one in the full stainless steel and this is the matte black which I love when I first opened it I thought it was like the onyx which is a little shiny I was kind of disappointed that's probably really wrong to say you'd be disappointed about the color but I just didn't feel like it would match the finish in my house so I was contemplating returning it but then when I notice it's the matte black I am like all about that life so I'm super excited about this it's the five quart kitchen aid mixer I don't even know what attachments it comes with because I didn't even want to dive into this just yet now I don't even know where it says what's in here um, because I did not even want to dive into this because once I open it I'm gonna start using it and so i wanted to show you guys first and then i will dive into that but stay tuned obviously lots of cooking videos are going to come up where i'm going to be using that bad boy uh my mother-in-law hooked me up with some crazy ball jars and i'll have an upcoming video of me redoing the pantry but she works at like a hardware store that sells all this kind of stuff and so she put away and ordered um ordered and then put away for me these blue ones like how different are the blue ball jars love them so i'll use that in my pantry but i didn't even know they made these gigundo ones these are half gallons you guys i think that's awesome for things like those big bags of sugar and flour and stuff that i get like yes i'm really excited i go shopping at bj so i buy a lot of bulk stuff so i'm excited about that I'm definitely going to look forward to redoing my pantry and then do you see this do you see this holy leaning tower of Bath and Body Works candles? Usually my family hooks me up with like a lot of like lotion and hand soap and all of that. But I have so much of that right now, especially with all the girls knowing what I like. And they all sent me gift packages with that kind of stuff in it. I have lotion and body spray and all this stuff like, whoa. So I told them like the things I burn through the most are wallflowers and candles. So that's what everybody switched gears to and got for me. I don't have the wallflowers pictured here. I already put them away, um, but I got about 30 of them between everybody who gave me them. So the first, ah, hold that thought. So I got two new holders and this one I'm really excited to show you because I've been eyeing these, but when my girlfriend bought it, I'm glad she bought it for me because I misunderstood. So this is the Wallflower Duo. And I thought that you put like the same scent in there and it works like for double the capacity. And that really excited me because I've mentioned that as much as I love these things, I don't have too many downstairs here because I have nine foot ceilings and the room's an open floor plan. So you would need like three of these in one room to smell it. But when I was like, wow, if this is a double, you might actually smell that. So I had contemplated buying it but I'm wrong. It doesn't go off at the same time. It's alternating. Every other day, it switches off. I think that's the coolest stinking thing ever. Like, what if you put, like, lemoncello in one and then watermelon lemonade in another one or something like that, like two smells that would go together, and then each day they kind of switch off and fill the air with something different, but the same kind of, I don't know. I'm super excited. I can't wait to try it. And she got me this with a bunch of like bulbs with that. So I'm super stoked about that. And then this one I can't really use right now, but my mom knows my obsession with the red truck. So she had to get me the white barn one. Um, and this one lights up, which is stinking crazy. Like, do you know how gorgeous that must look like? OMG like need that in my stinking life so i'm gonna put this away for next christmas but super cute love that and then hella candles you guys like they know me so i think there's 15 here plus i already put away the one that madison sent me so i think it was 16 of these babies overall but i will burn them stay tuned for another candles empties because i will burn them like cray cray i love my candles i got a lot of great ones ones i've never seen so these are the ones that i picked out myself because my husband gave them to me um but then there's this this one, this cherry frost. That smelled amazing. I had never smelled that. I got a couple of the champagne toast, which I loved. A bunch.
bunch of the campsite coffee which some people have said is really strong but i love it and then this one this one took me by huge surprise orange chocolate truffle when i first opened it i was like uh but yo i think it's probably my favorite one out of all of the ones that i got because it it's that good and it took me by surprise so that is my amazing and generous purchases from all of my family members that I got from here in the kitchen. And now I'll take you elsewhere. Okay guys, so here we are in my bathroom and here is like a bulk of the bathroom kind of stuff that I got. I know it looks like a lot, but this was like from so many different people just because again that they know this is the kind of thing that I love. Like when I saw Leanne at Target, we exchanged our Christmas presents and she gave me this. Like I'm so excited to try this. Like I couldn't wait to film it so I could open it. But this is that raw sugar brand that I love. But this is a lip scrub and then a lip balm. So I love that. That sounds really, really awesome. And then my cousin Jen, she got me a bunch of like different stuff because she got me a suitcase for Christmas and she like put a duffel bag and she like put a bunch of stuff in it. So one of the ones that she got me was this, which I'm really excited to use because this is shower gel, you guys. It is charcoal infused shower gel by the Beauty Spot. And it's enhanced with kale, enhanced with retinol, enhanced with honey, or enhanced with rose hip. And it says deeply detoxifying charcoal shower gel cleans pores of excess oil and have been enhanced with premium ingredients to nourish and soften the skin, leaving it pure and fresh. So this is one of the things that she put in that duffel bag. And I'm so, so, so excited to try that. That looks like amazing. And this is another thing that she put in there. And that's because she knows that I've been falling in love with this brand. And this is the Love Beauty and Planet. This is the dry shampoo that Madison turned me on to that I really, really liked. And this is their shampoo, their conditioner, their body wash, and down there is a hair mask. So this is a true sampling packet. Uh, plus I have the dry shampoo. So between all these things, I should get a really good like idea of how this company is and I'm really excited because the people speak so highly of this brand. So I'm excited to try that. That's like something I'm dying to dive into. And then my girlfriend Bonnie got me a couple of these things from the Bath and Body Works aromatherapy line. So this is the Focus, which is eucalyptus and tea. So she got the lotion, she got the bath soak, and then she got the little room refresher which is eucalyptus and spearmint. Oh my goodness, you guys, it smells so good. And I like the little travel size. It's like perfect just to sit on top of the toilet for spray for the bathroom, so I like that. Um, I got a thing of this dry shampoo from Amber, and I'm excited to try it because I didn't even know Herbal Essence had a dry shampoo. So I'm excited about trying that. That was in her box for me, along with a bunch of these. So she got me like, I think four or five of these little like Bath and Body Works unicorn pocket backs. And I think Maya squeezed at least two of them in Mason's room. I think I have this one and one more in my purse already. So yeah, um, not a happy camper about that. So my mother-in-law got me a bunch of body sprays. That's the uh, reason why I didn't ask anybody else. I told everybody else no, because she went and did the three for three like early. So I knew this was coming, um, but she didn't tell me what scents she got. So she got spiced gingerbread swirl, which I didn't know how I was gonna feel about that, but that was a really, really good. And then same thing, hot cocoa and cream and a body spray. I don't know, like I do the candle, but I sprayed it and it doesn't spray like, smell like the candle when it sprays. It smells like what the candle would be in a perfume version, if that makes any sense. So I don't know, I really liked it. But then she got two, this is the winter candy apple, right? She got two, yeah, two of the winter candy apple. And then one of this Love and Sunshine, which is like perfect for spring. And then a Champagne Toast, which I love the Champagne Toast. It's one of my favorites. 
Um, in the bag from Leanne with that raw sugar was also a Thousand Wishes Ultra Shea Butter Lotion. She knows, whoa, that I love my Thousand Wishes. So she got that. And then she also got me this, which is so funny because when I just did my empties, somebody commented, maybe it was Joyce. Somebody commented and said that Nikki Guerrero came out with her own limited edition of the OGX line for Christmas and that there was a whole bunch of different scents. So now I'm really excited to find the rest of this. So this is just the Midnight Kisses shampoo. I know it's not the holidays anymore. So hopefully if I go to Target, I can find it like clearanced out or something. Um, but I want to find the conditioner at least as a match to this, if not the other scents, because I've heard really great things. Uh, and it also comes with the Coconut Miracle Dry Shampoo. So excited about trying all that. My girls know that I'm like product junkies. So uh, this also came from Amber, the St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. So love my scrubs. My girls definitely know me when it comes to that. I got a bunch of different nails. Um, two of these were from Nicole, I think this one, and this one was from Nicole. And then my mom threw a couple in my stocking. She threw the one with the blue tips, which I didn't get these ones for myself, but my mom picked them up for me, which is funny. And the one with the purple tips. And then in my stocking, my mom also put this little e.l.f. shadow palette. Look how funny, look at the comparison of the Dollar Tree. So there's a little eyeshadow palette just like this from e.l.f. going around at the Dollar Tree right now. She paid $6 at Rite Aid for this, okay? So that's why I love me some DT. Uh, my mom also picked up the nail glue. She knows, she doesn't know that I'm not usually a fan of this. I'm gonna see if my Dollar Tree will let me swap it out. I don't think they will. If they don't, I'm gonna make a do with it. Um, this is from a DT, but my cousin threw this in with the stuff that she put in the duffel bag too, because she's like, with you and your social media, I just thought it was funny that it said offline. So I thought that was cute. She threw that in and then she also got me this, an e.l.f. all over glow set. So it is a shimmering highlighting powder, a shimmer facial whip and a brush. So it's like a nice... It's like a self bronzer kind of facial shimmer kit. So excited to try that. That's like for like nights out. So I have this girl, Therese. I absolutely love her. She lives on Long Island, not far from my parents. And I was hoping to see her this time, but I didn't get a chance to see her. And she sent me this whole big box of stuff that I opened like quickly in the car before I left because it was the day before I was leaving and I was packing the car. So I threw the box like inside the house and Daryl like used the box and broke it down for garbage and stuff like that. And he took a lot of the stuff out. So I have some of her stuff scattered all over or I would like show you guys all the stuff that she sent me as a whole. But I'm going to pull out my favorites that she sent and I'm going to, you know, include it somewhere throughout. And one of them was this. So I've never seen this before but it just sounds and it smells so, so good. So it's Bee Berry Bright Exfoliating Mud Mask and it's Goji Berry and Green Coffee. Have you ever heard of green coffee before? Because I have not heard of green tea, not green coffee, and it smells amazing. So I'm excited to try this. So I'm excited that she sent that uh, to me. And then you guys, like tons of face masks. I can't even keep up with who are from what. I'm pretty sure like this unicorn one was from Amber. Some of them my cousin Jen threw in. Some were from Therese. I think some of these Freeman ones were from her too. Um, my mom threw some in. So Oh yeah, right Aid. These are from my mom. These clay ones. And then I got another Yes to Cotton. Um, and another, is that a clay? Oh, it's a cream. Hydrating cream. Manuka honey. Ooh, that sounds really good. Okay, I like that. But look how stinking cool this is. And I think it's my favorite like thing out of all this stuff is the glow and go gold face mask trio so my cousin jen put this in the duffel bag as well and it's a foil face mask um pear gel patches i guess for underneath your eyes 
and a gel lip mask. I've never even done a lip mask before. So I'm excited about this. It looks pretty cool. Um, it's all gold and everything. I don't know, makes it look fancy. So that was it. That was for the bathroom stuff. And now I'm gonna take you outside into the hallway and show you like all the miscellaneous things that didn't fit into the kitchen or the bathroom category. Okay guys, so this is it for my what I got for Christmas. We're at the last stop and this is like the miscellaneous stuff. So right now I'm actually at the top of my stairs coming upstairs and one of the things I asked for for Christmas was a console table for coming up the stairs. Uh, I used to call this the Grady's mom corner because when Leanne moved I purchased this from her and then I also purchased that curtain rod and I bought the curtains and then right here is this little console table thing which I purchased from her as well and I had it in the corner so this was like my little Grady's mom corner but what I noticed when I had that little plant stand there so my plants were doing so well because the light is the best right here so I get a lot of light from this window but then hold on I'm gonna turn you guys around at the top of my stairs let me block the chandelier we have this big huge picture window that doesn't have any blinds or anything we get a lot of light in that area so what i thought was putting some kind of table here and doing like a plant area spice garden that kind of thing like this would be the only spot because the way that our house is facing we really just don't have any windows that get really good lighting so needless to say I wanted a table right here to dress up for decor for this corner and my brother got me this table from Kirkland's and I am absolutely in love like it is so gorgeous I love the weathered wood um, these little things slide back and forth so you can set them any which way you like them so I love that uh, I love the little thing on the bottom so I'm gonna have a lot of fun like decorating this and putting plants on here and stuff like that and so he bought me that for Christmas and then he also got me this cotton stem wreath which from Kirkland's which I absolutely love and then my mom bought this weathered window pane so my plan is to take this cotton stem wreath and mount it in the middle and then I'm gonna hang it up in that stairway somewhere I don't know I haven't really decided because this whole hallway is empty also so I'm just not sure like where I want these things but I'm pretty sure I want that in the hallway because then my mom also bought me that like I seriously have the best mom ever ever <laughs> like her taste is phenomenal um, she just she's amazing and she just spares no cost when it comes to Christmas and I'm like I was so blown away by this when I took it out of the box. I was like, whoa, this is so amazing. So this was so big, she didn't want me to have to take it home. So Daryl picked up this table and this from Kirkland's and surprised me. So when I got home, um, my mom had only put a picture in the box and it just like didn't do any justice till I like slid this huge thing out. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm in love. So I love the weathered wood and then that is all like raw iron on the inside so I think all of that is going to look nice like on my bare walls here I think I might put like that this big piece right there and then the window pane with the cotton thing there because I was kind of thinking this wall needs one of those huge clocks I don't know I thought that would look nice I don't know I'm still thinking but somewhere along those lines that's where the those pieces are gonna go so I'm really excited about that and then like I said all of these walls are empty in here so my cousin um, got me this and I think I'm gonna hang this in this hallway so this is Walmart's brand because it's mainstays and it says it holds up to eight photos and it has like these little clips that you can slide the photos in I love like the slatted wood and it's like a grayish color so it looks really good like look how good that looks against the floor so that's going to look really good like putting pictures in there so i'm excited about that and then my aunt got me this and holy stinking cow i'm so excited about it so this is almost like a paint by number um but you use diamonds so it's called diamond painting kit and it's like little pieces that you use this little pen and you color code the pieces and you place them on 
to make this like do you see how stinking gorgeous that is like all four seasons so so beautiful um, my cousin Ashlyn was doing the rose from Beauty and the Beast the other night in this and oh my goodness it was just like exquisite we were FaceTiming and I was like in awe watching her so this is definitely something I have to do without the kids but I'm looking forward to you know maybe just putting this in a place where I can pull it out at night after the kids are in bed and work on it for a little bit but I I really can't wait to dive into this because it looks absolutely amazing this is something else that Leanne gave me and it's so stinking cute I had to share it so look at this it's like a little tabletop calendar and it's like different I'm not sure if it's different unicorns each oh, it is so it's like different unicorns each month so that was January and then February ah and then the green with the shamrocks from March and so on. And so you just put them like behind each other so it's thick enough to stand up in this little thing. And it's like a little tabletop calendar. I think it's just so cute for me working at my desk. So I really love that. I want to show you guys that because I thought that was super cute. My mom said she got like an insane deal on these. They're just cubic zirconia, but they're really, really pretty. And it's just extra earrings for my ears. So I really love these. I just like plain white princess cut kind of earrings. That's all I have in my ears right now. So I'm excited about it um, to put those in. I wanted to show you guys and then I'm going to take them out of my ears. Um, take my other ones out and put those in, if that makes any sense. Uh, then my sister-in-law got me this, which was so surprising because we don't even really exchange gifts I just did like a like candle and bolero basket for her and that kind of thing like nothing too crazy but she was so sweet she gave me like this Jets necklace that I have hanging from my rear view right now uh, these like big jet slipper socks but I already have those in the laundry because I wore those and then um, this little cute little Jets handbag which I think is so super sweet um, especially since right now we're in like it's almost over so I think I'm gonna put this away for the fall I'm not sure but I love it I think it's so so cute uh, this is a few more things that Therese sent me that was in her bag um, I'm gonna show you this right here because this is my absolute favorite thing that she sent it like literally made me cry but uh, she sent this it says you call it chaos we call it family so I thought they, I thought that was just so sweet and that totally describes me like so stinking cute um, and then Actually, hmm, I think Vanessa sent me this. Hmm, now I'm not sure. I had everything together. I don't know. It's the stinking cutest thing ever, whoever sent it. So I'm super grateful, and I appreciate that. Um, and then here's just some more things that I got from Therese. So super cute, these little K um, post-it notes. And then this is an 18-month magnetic monthly calendar pad. But, of course, it's unicorn, so, so super cute. I love that. Um, she sent one of these little hope things to me. I actually received a bunch of these, which is so super cute that everybody knows that this is like my thing. So, um, I love that, but this is my favorite thing that she sent me, you guys. And she put a little note on it that said, I thought you might want to read and know about what you love. And I think that that was so super sweet because to be honest, like, I don't really know the story behind it. Um, she dated it and she put a little note inside. So I just, I absolutely love it it's like especially that she personalized it and like wrote an inf like a wrote a note to me in there just means like I'll always know that it's her and I just think it's so super cute um I, again I hope that I get a chance to meet her one time going home but I mean the pictures are just the most exquisite in this book and it is just uh, it took my breath away. I, I cried when I opened this book because I, I will read this. I, I want to know everything about it. And I've never actually thought to do research on something, like she said, that I love so much. So um, I, I'm anxious to read that. And I'm, I'm very grateful for her. So thank you so much for sending that to me. Like it means the absolute world to me. So thank you for that. Uh, this is that devil bag that I told you that my cousin got me. Uh, she had asked me what I wanted for Christmas and I had told her that I've been going away a lot with the girls and that we go away for like these nights or two and I really needed like a weekender bag or just like, um, 
you know, like a smaller suitcase. And so she said she had so many choices of different things. She didn't know what to choose and she didn't think I would like rollers. So she got this bag for me, which I just need to tell you the gray and the pattern is like absolutely awesome. It is super sturdy. I mean, she said she got a really great deal on it, but I mean, look at what the tag said that the value was because I like called her and I was like, I hope you got like an insane deal on this bag because I would never pay this for a duffel bag, but it says it's $120 and it's by travel gear. Like that's insane, but it is like super sturdy. Like I don't see this thing ripping. The lining is awesome. Like the pockets are just like super diesel. I love the pockets and there's like more pockets on the inside. Like even in here, there's pockets. So I really like it and I think we I would use it, but it's not necessarily what I was looking for. So she did tell me that she got this at Kohl's. Uh, and so I may try and return it as long as I get back what she spent on it um, without having to like go through her and receipts and all that. I may try and return it because I actually saw a suitcase yesterday at Walmart that was like 60 bucks and it was kind of what I was looking for. Hard case, rollers, something that would be have enough space for me to pack the things that I pack when I go away with the girls for a weekend. So I'm not sure if I'm keeping this yet. Um, again, I love it, but either way, whatever suitcase I get, even if I trade this in, it would still be from her. So, and then the last thing that I put here was I did get a bunch of clothes and like undies. My mom always gets me bras and stuff, but I didn't really like include that and lay that kind of stuff out. But I did put this Guster t-shirt here. So this t-shirt says Guster on it, um, which is actually a band that Daryl started listening to when he was younger. And when we first met, he like introduced me to this band and I fell in love with them. And I think Daryl thought I kind of only liked this band because I wanted to like hang out with him, but I really did fall in love with them. And like we once went and saw a concert together and we've always wanted to go back. Well, they're coming to Charlotte in April. So my mom, bought us each a ticket and a t-shirt for us to go um well the gift was really for daryl she gave him the tickets and shirts for us to go but uh, i'm super excited because i never get to go on a date night with my husband and my in-laws will actually be in from out of town when the concert is going on so they're going to let us get a hotel room and like go have a real date night and go to this concert and have a couple of cocktails and go out to dinner and all that so i'm super excited that's like one of my favorite christmas presents because even though it's not mine it's something i get to participate in and i don't get to spend a lot of time with my husband so speaking of the husband guys can't forget about what hubby got me so i'm showing you guys this on my phone because he actually texts me a picture of what he got it's just being sized right now so that is a picture of the ring that he got so super cute it's for my first like finger on my left hand because that's the hand that i use to do a lot of filming so i like to kind of dress up that hand if it makes any sense so that is the ring that he got so i'm excited i'm waiting for that to come i put this here because he was so excited that this thing is hot pink you can tell it's lit up because i'm actively using it right now but i need a new wireless mouse and he was like i sprung for the good one and it's pink so he was so super excited about that and then he got me these awesome wireless headphones i asked him for them and he swears by wireless headphones so he was like really excited about like trying to find a good headset it connects to my computer so i can edit now like quietly without bothering anybody in the house it like wraps around the back of my head and it's like super squishy and stuff so it, like won't break i really love it and i'm super excited about it so he got that and then this is my favorite thing he did stuff my stocking too with like cute little stuff but he got me this like what husband buys his wife this please hide packages from husband like he got that for me that made me laugh so so hard when i opened this up and i was like seriously babe and he was like it's so funny to me and he was like because i never restrict you like you're able to go shopping and do whatever he's like but this is just so funny to me that it came from me so he was so pleased by it and it made me giggle so definitely my favorite purchase from the hubs
Okay guys, so that's it. That's what I got for Christmas. I probably shouldn't precursor that sentence with that's it because that was a tremendous amount of stuff. Like I said, my heart is so full. I am so blessed. My family, my friends, everyone is amazing and I promise I will use and not abuse everything that was given to me and I love every ounce of it and I love each one of you. So thank you so much for watching. If you love my KitchenAid mixer or anything that I got in this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you are interested in anything that I got, make sure if I can find it, I will link it in the description box so you can check it out for yourself and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.